In 1888, Frederick R. Ross arrived in the Mile High City, where his name would become synonymous with Denver's real estate market. Today, the company goes by Newmark Grubb Knight Frank Denver, but their commitment to and involvement with downtown Denver remains intact. 125 years later, the Frederick Ross Company's legacy of stewardship, innovative risk-taking, and community investment lives on strong. We've got archives here dating back to the beginning of time. This company was really started in 1888. Grover Cleveland was president of the United States when Frederick Ross opened shop here in Denver. And uh, he was one of those guys, a uh, wonderful, colorful history with him and his involvement with the growth of Denver. The founding principles of Frederick Ross himself are still the same principles that guide us today. Long before their influence on downtown Denver's skyline, the Frederick Ross Company was involved with many of Denver's defining moments, including the development of water rights that would allow for Denver's future growth. Early on, they were able to secure water rights and form the Denver Water Board and the Water Commission to, uh, to build for the future. And the hallmark of that was the completion of the Moffat Tunnel in the 1920s, which was the first West Slope water diversion project that made it possible for Denver to grow. And Frederick Ross, in fact, was president of the Water Commission when it was completed. Um, but it's things like that that made a difference. Ross's successor, Cyrus Hackstaff, embodied the same dedication to downtown Denver, becoming one of the founders of the Downtown Denver Improvement Association, known today as Downtown Denver Incorporated. We think it's vitally important to have a presence in civic and community organizations because we've always believed that you cannot have business success without civic and community success. In addition, the firm provided research and expertise for the overall economic strategy of the 1986 Downtown Area Plan, which was co-produced by the partnership and the city. In the first downtown plan that was done in 1986, we were a part of that team trying to understand what a downtown was and what this downtown could be. And I think it was at that point that at least I began to see even more clearly the connection between uh, what a downtown can be and what a city should be. Undoubtedly, Newmark Grub Knight Frank Denver has helped shape downtown Denver's past, present, and future. There are very few parts of downtown Denver that the Frederick Ross Company has in some ways not touched. Uh, and this didn't happen by magic. I mean, a lot of people worked very hard to make it happen, and of course the partnership is continuing to do that today, but the transformation with all of the venues and the restaurants and the beautiful residential developments, which are up and more coming, uh, is securing downtown uh, as the place to be now and well into the future.